I think you just got to look into the next game thinking you've got to get a win because at the moment it's three games on the bounce losing so we just need to focus on getting back into winning ways because it's four losses this season I think, five, so out of nearly 30 games so we just need to focus on getting back to how we were before. It's got to be Carl Shelton, like two goals in a minute I think or two minutes and then just uh, running along the fans getting the high fives it was just one of the that was my first experience of like celebrating with fans and stuff like that and it was, it was I just loved it you know what yeah everyone likes house but I'm like I like different music so they'll probably say I've got the worst music taste but it's all opinions, isn't it? So I won't say any names. Tim Cale. Played with him early Jan when I went on loan to Millwall from Brighton. Played with him in the 23s game and I assisted him. So too bad and he's, he's a legend, isn't he? Well, Hinch. Hinch was messaging me quite a lot, trying to get me to see how it is. And obviously I knew players like Danny Barker, Callum Keeley. So I spoke to them, they put in a good word saying it's good. And obviously I knew about the fan base. So pretty much fan base and players I know that have been here and manager I know. So I thought it'd fit in quite well. Biggest role model? Um, I'd say my mum because she, she, my both my parents really they've been there since, since day one, dropping me to football, pushing me on. Trait like I've had training sessions with my dad in the park. My mum even she used to play football for Charlton back in the day, so she knows a bit, giving me advice and stuff like that. So I say both my parents. Uh, Darren Bud, he's like he'll talk to you all game. Like me and him have had arguments on the pitch, but he will always be on your side, and he just encourages players all the time. It feels like we're missing a man when he's not on the pitch. So he's probably the biggest influence, like talker on the pitch. But everyone has their part in the team talking. Let's dress. <laughs> Ooh, um, should I name any names? <laughs> I'll keep that one quiet. <laughs> Don't want anyone to come at me in training and be like, what? That's an interesting question. Um, goalie, I think I'd pick Jens Lehmann. Uh, at the back, I think I'd have Paul, Carlos Puyol, and obviously got to have Messi, best player in the world. And I like to say Ozil. A lot of players criticise him, but he can pick a pass out. So if I'm making runs, even a five-side pitch, he'll find me. So well. If I knew what the conga was, I'd try to get them to do it, but I'm not sure. So it's a bit of a tricky one, that. Um, I wouldn't say it's just me that steps up. We've had players like Craney, Chelmsford, scoring two goals from a set piece, and players contributing with assists like Jess Starkey. He's got loads of assists this season. So it's a team thing, really. I can't really pinpoint me just scoring all the goals. So I like to give the team credit. I'm not being biased, but it is me. But if he comes back on loan, then me, him and Reese will do a race 100%. Film it and then hopefully fans can see it. The fan base is a big part of it and then obviously got Hinch and players that I've known for a few years so 
and obviously the style of play you play. So I've played most of my life playing up from the back. So it's good to like not go into like long balls and stuff like that. Um, I like to think I can reach the top playing Premier League. But, um, in the next five years, I hope to be close to playing Championship. That will be the goal. But um, yeah, you need to be playing often to get that far. And I'm playing often here. So hopefully each year I can make a step up and progress to where I want to be in life, in football. Well, I think we can win the league, like definitely. We've got the players, even though some are injured right now, but what's going on right now, losing three in advance, it's, it's nothing, we'll come back from that. And even though the cut runs have cut down, it gives us time to focus on the league. So I reckon we'll be able to do it comfortably. We just need to keep playing how we've been playing.